Hi, welcome to another video. Let's take another wallpaper as well, right? How about that? If you're looking at uh, YouTube and following the tutorials, you see I've made a few on VMware, VMware Windows, VMware Nautic Linux, but there are other tools and VirtualBox is our standard a way to test out Arch Linux ISOs. But always the point is install operating systems on the real hardware. So give it all the CPUs, give it all the RAM, and you will get another experience than something, well, in a little box, in a sandbox, right? So VMware is working fine. That has been uh, documented. But there is also something called a QQMU. I don't know how to pronounce it. I just know how it works. But let's have a look. So Arch Wiki, QMU or something. Arch Wiki, right? There is a lot of stuff, a lot of knowledge on there. And for me, basically, it is either Japanese or Chinese, whatever you like. I do not get all of it. That's not the point. You don't need to get all of it. You need to get elements. And at some point in time, you say, OK, I figured it out. I put it in a script and then I'll install it. So the script that I'm looking for is Arcanlix Nemesis. So this is a script that's personal, right? It's mine, but use it. Why bother figuring things out if you can just install something that's not going to be the good link. Uh, last time I did Eric Dubois, which is my name, Nemesis. And we get hmm, the first link. That's the best one. So it's a GitHub thing. Download it. You know how it goes. Either you download the zip or you git clone this URL. So it's in a memory. And then you get these things in. And these are stuff that I used to do or that I'm still using. And this date doesn't mean a thing. As long as it works, it works. So this is QMU. Down here is um, somewhere VMware Workstation. I ran that as well. Works as well. So things that you figure out, write it down. Make a script on it so you don't need to figure it out a year later. That's what this is. Reuse it. So we've um, done this. We've downloaded it, git clone, whatever. And then you just install something. Install what? Any of these guys. And I have to type Q, right? A Q and tap. Two Qs, okay? Q new. And off we go. It's already installed. So skipping, skipping, skipping. He wants to log me on. Uh, so what's your login? It's Eric, right? He wants to add me to a group. Probably he's going to say that's already okay. Adding user to group. So no conflicts. He's just doing it. Although I'm already there. And then it says first reboot. So guys, I have already rebooted, okay? But always, always after VirtualBox, VMware, QMU, and GNOME boxes, a video that I'll make next. It's all about install, reboot. Safest thing to say to people, okay? Otherwise, you see all these strange errors and they all come asking, what's this error? Reboot first, then see if you got errors. So what I've installed with this script is virtual machine manager. So I have something as a front end. The back end is this QMU thing. And in here, we have already something, right? So I'm going to delete this. So, okay, delete everything. Sure, go <laughs> delete it already. And then we have create a new virtual machine. Okay, go. Local media, ISO somewhere else, it's local, forward. And I've been trying to make a, the next edition, right? So one from November and to give it a support for VMware. But I wanted to see afterwards, eh, what if, how is it uh, performing inside QMU? How is it performing in GNOME boxes? So there are more tools out there, more virtual machines out there. So let's get, um, that's not what I need to do. And let's get browse local, that's it. And I have made a test, and this is my sixth version of this morning, and this is okay. So that's gonna be my ISO. And then we try to go forward, and it says can't find the operating system that you're looking for, generic. So automatically detect from the installation, so it don't, doesn't know what it is. I could start typing Arch Linux, Arch Linux, sorry, click or the generic as they pointed out. Forward, 
memory. I have 16, so 50-50 CPU. I have just one CPU. But I believe this guy makes, um, he, he means the cores. I think so. So I have eight cores. I'm gonna take four CPUs, four cores, forward, enable storage for this virtual machine, sure. 30 would be nicer. I have plenty of space. Forward, Arch Linux, and so on. Customize configuration before install. I did that too. So I get an overview again. So I can check about these CPUs. I'm not really sure, right? And indeed, it says local logic logical host CPUs 8, so sure, 4.4. Four. It was talking about the cores and not the CPUs. So that's a mm, right translation thing. And this is okay and all the rest. I did not venture into it, did not look at it, and did not change it. That's the only important thing, CPUs and memory. Not even display this and didn't check that either. So begin installation that's what i did we make it big and there is also a button here somewhere that's the button to full screen which is a bit ugly in the beginning then oh, it starts to find and i can make uh, the letters a bit a little bit smaller booting up and we get our arc linux but if we go back up, go back up, go back up. So this button, leave full screen, enter full screen. So there is no change in size. With this particular application, you can actually go anyway on XFCE, right? Display, change to the one you have. This is mine. And there we go. Keep this configuration and off you go using trying out figuring out things all right that's it for me that's no more thing, no more uh, nothing to explain besides while well, install and use and try out and have fun all right cheers